Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising from Deer Park High School with another tutorial for my multimedia class. This one's going to be about how to go out and get music for your video, how to insert that music into your video, and how to use the marker tool to mark up your video so that you can mark beats of a song in your timeline, and perhaps make a montage having your video clips start and stop on the beats of the music. So we're going to go out into our browser, and for the purposes of our class, we're going to go into a website uh, called positionmusic.com. So let me go back to the uh, home page of Position Music. So when you first go into Position Music, we're going to go into uh, Production Music. And this is a website that we pay a subscription to, so my students will have their ID and password to use it. And so what you're going to see are albums here. And they're not going to be albums that you're hearing on the radio. Uh, they're going to be, 99% of them are going to be instrumentals. And so you want to find a song that matches the tone or the storyline of the video and of the story that you're trying to tell. So if you're doing something sad, you want to find like an ominous song. If you're doing like a chase scene, you want to find some, you know, a song that would be appropriate for that. When you cover things like sports, maybe say football, you get a hard rock song. So let me scroll down to find an album that I've used in the past. So give me one second. Here it is. I've used this in the class before. So I'm going to go into Modern Fire and you're going to see a, a, a number of songs within that album. So you would play them and listen to them and see if you like them and if you have a song that you like you come over here to downloads so I would download it for our class we're always going to choose the mp3 uh, much smaller file size than the WAV file we'd click on it and it downloads and for our class it's set up to go into the downloads folder so then we would jump back into Final Cut and we want to get that song into our browser so I'd click on my event where I want the song to go into I would go to file import media and go ahead and find that song so we find your downloads folder scroll through it to find your song so in our case here it is and I would say import selected and then the song will show up in my browser so then what we would do is we would take that song um, and we would click and drag and drop it into our timeline so I'm going to take it and drag and drop it into the timeline so one of the first things that we would do is over here on the end, if my video is uh, done and I don't have any more footage, I don't need all of that song, I would probably use the blade tool to click at the end of the song to cut it into two, go back to the arrow tool by hitting the arrow. By the way, the blade tool is the letter B. Now I'm back on the letter A for arrow. Click on that second piece and delete it. And so now I'm going to hit function left to move my playhead to the beginning of my video. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the song and um, I'm going to take a look at my sound meter and for the purposes of our videos you guys all know that uh, we want to average at negative 12 and we want to peak at negative 6. So I'm going to look and listen at the same time and I already know I'm going to have to make my song volume lower because one, I want to be able to hear the people speaking with the song in the background and two, I can see the red on the wave files here. So I'm going to lower that song a little bit. So I'm going to press play on this using the space bar and I'm gonna listen and you want your meter to average at negative 12 peak at negative 6 and make your adjustments to volume accordingly so I can either drag my volume up or drag it down okay let me hit stop now one of the things we're gonna do um, is we're going to uh, try to mark beats of that song in the timeline to maybe try to do some kind of a montage where our video clips start and stop on the beats of the music so what I want to do is I want to click on the song and I want everything else here to be silenced so that I don't hear the uh, sound coming from the video clips. I just want to hear the music. So with the song clicked on, I'm going to come over here to the right in the timeline and come right here to the headphones. And by collect, uh, selecting that, that's going to mute out everything else. I didn't change my video. I'm just turning off the, the these clips for now so that I can just focus on the song. And once I do that, raise the volume a little bit just so I can hear the song. I'm going to hit the letter M for marker tool and just listen to the song and try to hit the letter M on the beats of the music. So if I press play, hitting the letter M, as you can see, I'm hearing the beats. And so on. So you can see I listen to the song and I... Uh, kind of uh, tried to mark a, on, on a beat. And so if you were doing some kind of montage, you could do something like put your video clips, like say for an intro, 
on and off based on these markers. So I can click on my clip and I could maybe resize it so it stops on the marker there. And then the next one, resize. So I could see you doing like a montage -y kind of thing as an intro to one of your videos. And so each of one of these clips will be coming on and going off uh, based on the marks that you made. So that, that makes for a nice little intro for a video when you when like you forgot to record some signage or something that you want to use as an intro. Oops. All right, so now if I go back function left and I play it, listen to the song and see how the beats uh, go on and off the screen. I mean the video clips go on and off. And so now you see how those clips start and stop on the beats of the music. So that, again, that's using the marker tool, the letter M. You can do it for uh, some kind of a highlight reel for sports that you've covered, or you can do it to make an intro to one of your videos. You can use it to make an outro to one of your videos. But it's a nice little technique that we use in class. So again, the, the only thing you're really going to do is you're going to use our website to get your song. Uh, and for anybody else out there not using a website like we use, uh, whatever your music is, pretty much download your music import it by going file import media put it on your timeline silence everything else with this tool right here listen to the song learn it get the beat of the music hit the letter m for marker tool and it makes these marks and that's your guide that's how you know how to put your clips in you're going to make them longer or shorter starting and stopping on these marks okay so that's how we we use music in our class uh happy editing